when we say about signal, signal, so uh -huh. signals is something which contains some information, right? Amount of like uh, any information which we convey, right? So that is happening through signal. Okay. Hmm. Signal is an yes, indication right. about with some amount of information is conveyed. So more the randomness, we will have more information. For example, if I consider a simple DC signal, simple DC signal, it doesn't have any much information, right? It has this three point three volt. Yeah. And uh, like that is one information which is contained. There is no much random. So as we as we include more and more random information uh, then like it contains like some useful information like more useful information okay so mm -hmm. the general operation uh what we can can you give me some of the operations what we usually perform on signals sir what are the usual operation we perform on signals we uh, enhance addition the signal. multiplication subtraction and uh... Uh, with yeah, respect right. to the amplitude that, scaling. Uh, yes, yes, that is in terms of uh, arithmetic. So, in terms of like application point of view, like amplification, that is like enhancement, like enhancement, <laughs> enhancement, filtering, right? So, yeah. you say that uh, convolution, convolution is nothing but filtering, like we may have to remove certain part of the signal for uh, getting the useful yeah, information, yes, like okay. for example. Uh, 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 in your mobile. So we have mm -hmm. like various uh, different frequency of the signal coming to your hand. So, but uh, whatever the SIM card you are using, so it is correspond to a particular bandwidth. So we have to extract only those particular bandwidth signals. Right? So uh, the filtering, same way yeah. uh, we may have to store the signal, like whatever the input incoming data you're getting. So you may have to store, like for example, image data, image process data. Image also is kind of signal. So, uh, storing the signal, these are the, some common operation of what we perform on signals, right? Yes, sir. Then, coming to uh, characteristics of the signal, characteristics of the signal. So, there are various uh, characteristics in terms of like dimensionality. Uh, independence and all. So, first one, first characteristics of signal is the signal has more than one, more than one independent variable. Hmm. Independent variable. Hmm. If I consider a speed signal, speed signal. Hmm. So how do I represent that speed signal? So I will have uh, X of T, that is like variation in the voltage or the variation in the speech. So we will represent in terms of like some random signal, but that varies with time, right? Varies with time, the speech signal. Yes, sir, correct. So here, the independent variable is time. time. Yes, sir. Whereas, uh, if I consider image, in case of image, how do I represent image? I will have x axis, y axis, and I will have various pixels. Pixels, right? Yeah, pixels. correct. Various pixels. So here, the independent variable is not time. So here, independent variable was time. Whereas here, the independent variable is the x and y coordinates, right? X and y coordinates. Yes, sir. Also, if this is image, image, but if I consider a video signal, video signal along this X and Y, this frame, one frame also, that also is going to change right over the time. So in the video, we yes, have sir. three independent variable, X, Y, and T. Hmm. Right? That is a three-dimensional signal. Hmm. And <laughs> Second characteristics of the signal is randomness. Randomness. In the sense, if, if the signal is already you are able to predict, 
then it doesn't contain any information, right? That, uh, that information is already known to you. I mean, if I say something which is already known to you, then it doesn't mean to you, uh, to you anything, right? So it should be something new, which I can get something out of, it, right? So the information has to be random. Then only that is going to convey something to the user. Anything which is already known to the system, that is not going to convey, right? So the randomness, more the randomness, more the, more the randomness, more information. Yes, sir. Okay. And this measure of information is given by I equals to log to the base 2, 1 by PI. PI is probability of the randomness probability of information. So if PI, for example, if I say PI is 1 by 8, then this is going to be log 2 to the base, uh, log to the base 2, 8. 8 is nothing but 2 to the power 3. So information is 3 bits, 3 bits of information. Yes. Same way, if someone says that uh, it is 16, it's going to convey 4 bits. So this way we have to find what is the amount of information any randomness it is going to come. So second one is, so first one is independence, second one is randomness and third important characteristics is bandwidth of the signal. What do we mean by bandwidth? You said I'll, I'll tell sir. Yeah. It is it is like uh, the amount of data which it carries, right? So for yes, example, sir. like if I consider any signal, if it contains like the data is containing from zero to FC, then bandwidth is FC, right? So for yes, example, sir. If it is containing, the data is containing from F2, F plus FM. So the bandwidth is basically FM, right? Yes, sir. So these are the characteristics of signal. One is uh, independence. Another is randomness and third is bandwidth, okay? And coming to characteristics of, uh, coming to the types of signal, types of signal. Do you remember any of the types of signal? What are the different types of signals we have? Uh, different types of signals say uh, triangular signal, sinusoidal signal, ramp signal, exponential signal, and uh, uh, unit impulse signal and right that is actually in terms of uh, uh, you are saying function there are different functions yeah. of the signal right but depends on the continuous time and display time signal right yeah continuous right. and display time signal right depends on like how we sample uh, the signal huh. can be discrete or or continuous continuous right so here also I mean when I say discrete or continuous there is various possibilities, right? So I can have like amplitude and time. So mm -hmm. one possibility is amplitude is continuous. Time is continuous. Amplitude is continuous. Time is discrete. Amplitude yes, is discrete. Time is continuous. And amplitude yes, is discrete. Time is also discrete. So uh, both are continuous. Then it is called continuous, right? Continuous. If amplitude is continuous, time is discrete, then we say discrete signal. Yes, sir. So amplitude is discrete, time is continuous, we say it as quantizer. Yes, sir. And both are discrete. What do we call? It is also a discrete time signal. 
No, it is a digital signal. Uh, okay, yeah, correct. I'm sorry. Digital signal. Mm -hmm. All right. So, for example, this continuous signal, it is something like this. Both the time and x of t, both are continuous. In case of discrete signal, amplitude is continuous. It can be 3.5, 4, 6.5, but the time is 0, 1, 2, 3, so on. It is discrete. Whereas, the third type here also discrete 1, 2, 3, x also discrete 1, 2, 3. So it will be like this 2. So both are discrete. It is like quantizing, yeah. right? Digital, usually we say 1s and 0s, right? 1, 0, 1, 1. Yes, sir. Yeah. One zero, etc. So these are the digital signals. Yes, sir. So usually this quantizer, right? That will be represented in terms of steps. Okay, steps. Yes, sir. So next. Based on the functionality of the signal, based on the functionality of signal, so we have various uh, classification. First, we will see the classification of the continuous time signals. So, first classification is unit step step signal function. Or unit step signal. So in the unit step signal, u of t is 1 if t greater than 0. Hmm. And u of t equals to yes, a 0 for all other t less uh, than Not one. all other actually, t less than huh. 0. Then 0. And at, at t equals to 0, what is happening? At t equals to 0, right? There is a transition. There is a transition. Neither 0 yes. nor 1. So there is a what? transition. Hmm. Right? Yes, sir. You have to. So whenever there is a discontinuity, right? So this is the discontinuous. Right? So whenever there is a discontinuity, if you take a differentiation, then you are going to get a impulse, right? So this, this is one of the competitive exam point also. So whenever, wherever you see some discontinuity, that discontinuity time one in impulse will be created if you differentiate. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. This is one point. So you are going, yes. that's why here one discontinuity is there. The differentiation of u of t is delta, the delta of t, right? Impulse one. <laughs> Okay. So, but mathematically, if someone asks, so u of zero, you can represent as half. It's an average of it, right? Average of it, half. Mathematically, if someone asks, u of zero is half. Mathematically. Yes, sir. So what is the u of minus t actually? It is the flipped version. Flipped version? Huh. It is uh, minus 1 for t is greater than 0 and uh, 0 for... No. I uh, know. Minus, minus uh, it, is, it is not minus 1. Plus 1 only. It is plus 1 if t is less than 0. And 0 one and t uh, greater than 0. Uh -huh. Correct. Yes. And I said mathematically u of 0 is half. That is because if I add these two, okay, so actually if you see at it is a some transition at 0, it will be look it will be looking like this. Right? So basically u of t plus u of 
minus t is equals to 1, right? If I make, it is 1 always, right? I mean, if I add, see, mm -hmm. if I add u of t and u of minus t, it will be 1 always, right? Always 1. Yes, sir. u of t plus u of minus t, correct? Always 1. Yes, sir, correct. And now if I make u, if I substitute u of t equals to 0, then what will be? u of 0 plus u of 0 equals to 1. Correct? So mathematically, u of 0 will be 1 by 2. Agree? Yes, sir. 2 times u of 0 is 1. So u of 0 is half. From this point, we got into that kind. Yeah, yes, sir. Correct. Next is rectangular function. Okay. So a rectangle of t by t. Okay. Or some people will represent a phi t by t. Okay. So this function is represented. Starts from A plus T by 2. Starts from minus T by 2. T. Okay, amplitude is A. So here to here, the <clears throat> width is T. Okay. Yes, Hello. sir. So how yes, I can sir. represent how I can represent mathematically a rectangle t by t equals to what can I say a minus t by two less than t less than t by t. can I say this? Yes, sir. Correct. T like this in that year. Yes. Equals to zero otherwise. Mm -hmm. So this is a rectangle function. Yes, sir. So next is impulse function. So the impulse function delta of t equals to infinity if t equals to 0 or t tends to 0. It is not equals to 0, t tends to 0. Yeah. And equals to 0. So it's 1 for t is equal to 0, right? It's not 1 actually. So area is 1. Basically, See, that is many people will oh, that diagram. Uh -huh. In that impulse, area is 1. Okay? Yeah. But it is such a small way, like area is 1, but this is actually infinity. It is tends to infinity. Okay. It is very small, actually. Okay? So that's where that delta of t is infinity, t equals to 0. That is t tends to 0. So this is very small, okay. such a way that this goes maximum. Okay? Otherwise, 0, when t is not equal. It's an approximation yes, function, right? So it's not actual function. Yes, sir. So some of the properties of delta t, integration minus infinity to plus infinity, delta of t dt. What is the value? So, I mean, integration is nothing but area under the curve, right? So I said it is tends to infinity, but like such a way that even though it is very small, it tends to this this side, x-axis or t-axis, x-axis, amplitude axis tends to infinity. But this is what I'm doing. I'm trying to find the area. As I said, the area of this impulse function is always. Correct? Yes, sir. I yes. Next function, next property, delta of 
alpha of t. What is the value? It is nothing but one by alpha of delta of t. Yes. Sir. Scaling property. Okay. And one of the important uh, formula in terms of uh, impulse, I mean, which is helpful for you in terms of competitive exam also, you should remember if you have x of t, if you multiply this x of t with the shifted version, x of t minus t naught, the result is x of t naught into delta of t minus t naught. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is nothing but you can think of this way. You have at t naught, that is t minus t naught. Right? At t naught, you have one impulse. So you have x of yes, t. Sir. x of t, you assume it's a sinusoidal thing. So now, what is the value? Whatever the amplitude you have, that much time impulse, right? Rest all zero. So you just get one impulse at, with the amplitude of x of t naught. Wherever at t naught, whatever yes, the value yes, is there, x of t this way right yes sir yes so i mean you have to all the in signal system system you have to think you, you basically you have to visualize so that your uh, uh, signal sense system become very easy yes right? sir. so uh, i'll give you another example i have cos t i mean instead of x of t i have cos t into delta of t minus pi this is one of the competitive exam Question. So, what is the value here? Based on this property, what will be this? Mm. So, this is x of t, right? x of t. Now, t naught is 5, correct? 5, yeah. Yeah. This is nothing but cos t naught. What is t naught? Pi. Cos pi. What is the value of cos pi? Minus one. Minus one. Yes, actually. Okay. This is very important. Please remember this property. Still yeah, sure. So another example you can take. Take t into delta of t. What is the value? Um, over delta of t, right? So, L of t is it? Or, uh... See, what is t not here? Zero, right? T not is zero. T not is zero, correct. So, x of t is t. So, t is nothing but t not. What is t not? Zero. Zero. Please practice these kind of problems, okay? This is very important. Yeah. So sure. please revise this in the recording also. I'll share you the recording. Mm -hmm. I mean, usually I upload to YouTube and just watch them. Okay? Yeah. So then you have delta of t equals to delta of minus t. This is also one of the very important formulas. So this is one important formula in terms of competitive exam. Mm -hmm. This is also very important. Yes, sir. Next property of impulse function. If I integrate from t1 to t2, x of t into delta of t minus t naught dt. Okay. So here, you know that this is nothing but what value? It is x of t naught only, right? Yes, sir. And then t1 less than or equals to t naught less than or equals to t2. This is the very important condition. Zero elsewhere. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. With respect to this, you can take some examples.
zero to infinity t plus cos pi t into delta of t minus one dt. Yeah, can you tell me how to solve this? And this term is the uh, first we have to think of t naught. T naught is uh, one. T naught is right? one. Yes. yes. So now this will become one plus cos pi, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. What is the value here? One plus. What is cos pi? Minus one. So it is obviously one. zero here. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Next example you can take from zero to infinity cos t u of t minus three into delta of t minus one dt. So here you have to think of a uh, uh, waveform actually. Okay. So if you take hmm. waveform, you just take u of t minus 3. So, so u of t minus t is equal to 0. So t is equal to 3. So it starts from 3 and uh, continues to infinity. Correct. This so way, this right? Is not a ah, yeah. Yes. So now delta of t minus 1, where it falls? It falls here. So correct? delta, uh, it falls at 1. Correct. So if I multiply this delta of t with this u of t, what will happen? So multiplication, it will lead to 0 itself. It results in 0. Huh. So this cos t doesn't make any sense. So your overall yeah. result is 0. 0, correct. OK. Yes, sir. OK. Next problem. Integration from minus infinity to plus infinity x of 2 minus t delta of 4 minus t dt. So always uh, you try to resolve this into like a standard form. Okay. Yes, sir. So 4 minus t is nothing but uh, t minus. So t, mi uh, t minus 4 is equal to 0, t is equal to 4, and uh, that 4 you have to uh, shift it, I mean reverse that. Mm -hmm. uh, like reflection kind of process is supposed to do, uh -huh. so that See, it actually, will become to... Yeah. Huh. yeah. So simple uh, uh, equation is basically delta of, can I make minus t minus Minus t plus 4, four you can, uh, that is also right, yeah. Both so, are this right. will become t minus 4, right? Huh. Uh -huh. So, this is nothing but t minus t naught for now. So, yeah. x, a delta yes. of t minus t naught into x of 2 minus mm -hmm. t. So, this will become x of 2 minus t naught. What is t naught? 4. Right? 4. Yes, sir. This is nothing but x of minus 2. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Take another problem. I mean, I'll solve a few more problems because these are like common questions, especially on the impulse function, right? Many questions will be in competitive exam. Zero to infinity, e power t minus three, delta of three t minus nine d. How to solve this? So you have to use this property of this delta. It's nine, right? Huh. So is it, do we have to construct a signal for that because it's three t no, minus not required. Three. See delta of can I say three into t minus three? Ah, uh, correct. Yeah. So this again, can I further simplify? 
it is nothing but delta of alpha into t right so this will become 1 by alpha that's 1 by 3 into delta of t minus second property what yes, we have so. correct yeah yeah so now this will become 1 by 3 into 0 to infinity e power t minus 3 delta of t minus 3 correct yes delta. sir so 1 by 3 is outside so 0 to infinity uh, you remove this but like it is delta of t minus t not same right so e power 3 minus 3 right this yes sir. because x of t minus t not substitute t with the t not 3 minus 3 this will become 1 by 3 into e power 0 right yeah is it equal to 1 by 3 okay yes sir Next important function is unit ramp. So that is nothing but increasing signal. Yes, R of t. So R of t equals to t. This nothing but whenever it is one, time also one. Whenever time is two, amplitude also two. Linear value, right? Ramp. So that is why R of t is t. When t greater than zero. Yes, sir. equals to zero when t less than zero. Yes, sir. Okay. So one of the important property if you differentiate this ramp signal, you are going to get a unit step because if you differentiate this, what is what is the d by dt of t one, right? Yes, sir. So you are going to get one unit step function u of t. It is a differentiation of ramp function is unit step function. So in the first so initially, I, yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Differentiation of unit step function again. What will yeah. As uh, impulse function, differentiation of ramp function as unit function. Yeah. Correct. Impulse function. That impulse function is because here we have the discontinuity. Wherever you dis yes, differentiate the discontinuity, you are going to get a ramp function. Yes, sir. Next, one more important function is signum function. Hmm. Signum function. Signum function is it is greater than zero u of t. Okay, less than zero minus u of minus. T. This is u of t minus u of minus t. That is yes, minus sir. one. Yes, sir. It is plus one. Here it is minus one. So yes, signum sir. of t, signum of t is u yes, of sir. t minus u of minus t. Yes, sir. Clear? Yes, sir. I'm clear. This also, can I say to u of t? minus 1. Signum of t is also 2u of t minus 1. I'll just show you. So, for example, if it is 2u of t is nothing but amplitude with 2, correct? Yes, sir. This is 2u of t. If I negate 1, what will happen? The right side, it will become unit step, u of t. Left side, always, it already it was 0, so it will become minus 1. Plus yes, 1, sir. minus 1. So, these are the two important formulas. One is u of t minus u of minus t. Next is 2u of t minus 1. Yes, sir. From this, you will also get uh, the initial expression what we had derived. So u of t plus u of minus t is equal to 1, which we had initially derived, right? Yes, sir. Right? Okay. Next one is exponential, real exponential. So whenever you have a less than one, you will have negative exponential. When, so if you have e power a t and 
a is negative, then it is a negative exponent. If a is positive, then you are going to have positive exponent. Mm -hmm. Okay. And same way, complex sinusoid e power plus or minus j omega naught t. This is represented as complex sinusoid. Yes, sir. Correct. Okay. And also e power delta t. It is mentioned as complex exponent. It is represented e power sigma plus j omega. This is complex exponent. This is complex sinusoid. The next is complex exponent. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next is actually discrete time signals. Okay. So the discrete time signals now we will discuss more and more. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, uh, I'll take uh, yeah, I'll take